Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to American Truck Simulator and welcome back to my ATS Let's Play series, Stories on the Road. Hopefully you're all doing well today, by the way. We are back at it here. Going to try to finish up our run, take a look and see where we're at. We're here in Carson City. We're going to try to make it up to Elko today, try to get uh, this trip done. We started out, uh, let's see, it's going to tell us where exactly we started out. Uh, I can't remember offhand because it's like a week ago. But uh, we're going to get this run, hopefully, finished up today. Of course, we are back in the Peterbilt 389. And a lot of stuff to uh, kind of get to today. I know there wasn't, uh, well, there was only uh, the one upload here on the channel last week. And uh, kind of one of the reasons for that was uh, there was a family emergency. So uh, that's always going to come first before, uh, you know, gaming or anything like that. But uh, everything is uh, kind of getting back to normal now. Uh, Mother-in-law ended up having a couple, uh, couple of surgeries. We kind of, kind of knew about the one, but we didn't think it was going to be as uh, in depth as it ended up being. Why the truck wants to slow down anytime I go through that little spot there? But. Uh, Doctors got in, started to operate and everything, and uh, found out there was uh, some other issues going on that needed to be addressed. So uh, she ended up having like two surgeries in uh, as many days, going about uh, six, six and a half hours each one. So a lot more in depth than uh, they had uh, anticipated. Of course, a lot more in depth than uh, we had anticipated. So. But uh, all, all is well there now. Uh, she should be uh, going home soon. So. But uh, also, at a job interview, myself, uh, had a couple job interviews last week up for the same job. And uh, got the job. So I will be starting a new job here in about the next month. So, might be some changes coming to the channel, not sure yet. I know it is going to affect uh, my streaming schedule because, as you guys know, I do stream uh, over on Twitch uh, three days a week uh, from uh, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern with a new job. I'm not going to be able to do that, of course, which is fine because, you know, that's obviously a little bit more important, but uh, still plan on doing some streaming anyway. I'll uh, probably start uh, maybe in the next few weeks. Kind of doing uh, a couple streams here in the evening and uh, maybe some weekend streams as well. But as far as the upload schedule, I'm not sure what I want to do with that. And uh, one thing I've uh, been kicking around for a while is uh, going back to like three days a week on the upload schedule. Oh, excuse me, my allergies are killing me today. The car is trying to fly around me there. Uh -uh. But uh, I think that is probably going to be uh, the road that I go down uh, for the next few weeks. Is just going back to three days a week, you know, with, you know, starting the new job, you know, trying to stream. Because uh, part of the Twitch affiliate program is you have to stream at least uh, three days a week, and I definitely uh, want to stay a part of that. So it will be that. Uh, but uh, I think with the new job and everything, trying to do five uploads a week to YouTube might be a little bit much to start, so I'm probably going to pull it back just a little bit and uh, go back to three days, probably do like a like I did before, just a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday kind of thing. And the content could vary a little bit, uh, you know, definitely want to do at least one uh, Stories in the Road video a week, then the other two could be gameplay videos, or a particular week could be three Stories in the Roads, could be three gameplay videos, I just, I don't know yet. But uh, definitely got to keep on doing this for as long as I can because, you know, the channel continues to grow. But uh, if I, you know, get to a point where I feel comfortable, you know, trying to do the five days again, then I definitely will do that. But I think uh, kind of moving forward, you know, at least for the next few weeks, I'll still be doing five days, or at least trying to do five days. 
but uh, you know, as I get closer to starting the new job and everything, probably I'd say the next three or four weeks, I'll probably go back down to like three days a week for the upload schedule. So just kind of a heads up there. So if uh, you know uploads kind of get to be a little bit sparse, that's probably going to be why. Because definitely want to focus as much as I can on this uh, new job because it is a tremendous opportunity. Pretty excited about it. But I might get to a point where I just you know I don't know. I just don't know yet. There's just a whole lot going on, so, you know, it's just, a, you know, literally just trying to gather my thoughts and, you know, kind of figure out what I want to do kind of next. What the hell is that pickup doing? I'm going to get the left-hand lane. No, I'm going to get the right-hand lane, then I'm going to punch it. And I'm going to get back over here and hit the brakes. But it could just be a case of point if I do end up doing the five days, I'll just record some of the streams and start to upload a little bit more of that content kind of moving forward as well and just kind of have a mix of, you know, this kind of stories in the road where it's just uh, me sitting down talking and then, you know, kind of a mix of, you know, some stuff from the streams and then just, uh, you know, some, some of the gameplay stuff. No shenanigans. Glad this is a nice, long off -ramp. For sure. And what? Not even. Okay. Quick screenshot here. That'll work. Go in. Man's got to make a thumbnail. How can you hurt me? I don't know, that's just kind of where everything's at right now. You know, a couple of last about uh, uploads and everything uh, last week, and that's that's why there were no uploads. Is uh, There was a whole lot of important stuff going on. So, but we're back at it this week, and it's good to be back, for sure. I was able to stream today as well, or at least, you know, as I'm sitting down recording this video, I was able to stream today, depending on when it goes live. I'm just kind of thinking out loud, and that's kind of kind of what I'm leaning towards right now. It's probably going to be better for uh, myself personally to just just to try to do at least three days a week. That's, I guess that's probably what I should have said starting. I'm going to upload at least three days a week. If I'm able to do five, I'll do five. But uh, the very minimum, it'll be uh, three days a week. So that that's probably I'm going for it. That's probably what's going to be, is at least three days a week. I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things here today. Finishing up our run to Elko, and like I said, I streamed today. That went pretty well. A lot of support over there, so that was awesome. And uh, one game I'm kind of getting into that I've been streaming uh, just a little bit was uh, or is uh, Player Unknown's uh, Battlegrounds. Played that over the weekend with the guys as uh, kind of a reward to myself. I picked that up on Friday, and uh, man, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's a lot of fun. Something a little bit different. Uh, that I'm used to playing. Well, I shouldn't say completely different, because I played DayZ back in the day, and it kind of, at least to me, kind of has that DayZ kind of feel to it. Not just because it's an early access or uh, anything like that, but kind of kind of reminds me of that a little bit. But that game's a lot of fun. Uh, be kind of on the lookout for uh, that game. Uh, might even post some of that content here on the channel, but uh, definitely be streaming some of that in the evening with the guys. It's a lot of fun. We've just been squatting up and having good times, indeed.
kind of kind of got the hang of the basics. Now it's just kind of learning, you know, what are the hot spots, you know, where do people like to loot and uh, things like that. And then just kind of kind of getting used to, uh, you know, looking out for people, you know, where people kind of like to hide out at and what they like to use for cover and all that good stuff. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun so far. Not gonna lie. what it is, but AI has been a little bit squirrely today. I'm going to try to upshift going up this steep little thing. Thanks, cop. Appreciate that. Thanks for getting right on over. But yeah, a lot going on in the uh, ATS world. I'm sure most of you guys have heard by now. Uh, they officially announced not only uh, the Heavy Hall DLC with the multiple pivot points. We are now getting uh, doubles as well. So that is going to be pretty stinking awesome. I want to get a news update video done this week just because there has been so much going on the last couple weeks. I just want to get a discussion going with you guys on all that. So I'll uh, be on the lookout for that later this week. I want to try to uh, sit down and record that uh, this Tuesday, which will be, what, May 9th? If we're being all accurate with dates and stuff, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I want to get that done this week and get that out and then uh, get some more gameplay stuff out. I want to uh, try to get another uh, gameplay video up with the uh, CB radio chatter in the background. Seems like a lot of people enjoy that probably a lot more of that stuff uh, coming in the future as well as just uh, standard just plain old gameplay videos just want to try to kind of diversify my content a little bit and not uh, you know, have so many you know let's play videos I guess I don't know Don't worry, this series isn't going anywhere. It's kind of kind of how I got this channel started. But I think for my own sanity, I need to kind of mix it up a little bit. And... Maybe not do like five of these a week. Maybe, you know, two or three a week, I think would be uh, probably the max kind of moving forward. But don't worry, guys, not going anywhere, so don't don't start to assume that or, you know, kind of put that out there, you know. Just with everything going on in life right now, some other things are kind of taking precedent. But, you know, fear not, not going anywhere. And what is traffic doing out here? I was using the T680 on stream today, so it's just kind of you know, back in the 389, kind of trying to get used to where all the gauges are at again. Let it play, obviously, at all last week. Messed around a little bit on the weekend trying to make sure the stream and everything was working good. Seems like it is. Seems like everything went pretty smooth today. Like, I've been having all sorts of, like, uh, lag issues on my stream lately. And uh, ended up uh, reinstalling OBS, and everything seems to be okay now. Because on my streaming and editing rig, I'm still running uh, the Windows 10 Creators Update. And I've heard that's kind of one of the bugs, is some things you have to uh, uninstall and reinstall, and then you're good to go. beams on there. Got the peak wheels on, of course. Swerving all over the road because I can't drive in third person. Oh, God. That's better. Yeah, I don't know why I cannot drive in third person. I just get all sorts of squirrely. 
but uh, hopefully I can get the wheel pack uh, finished in the next month. That's kind of my goal, get all that completely done. Like the last few weeks, I have just not had time to do much of anything. Of course, I had all the issues with the gaming rig, all that's been sorted out. And then I had all the issues with the streaming and editing rig, which all that stuff is now sorted out. So hopefully it's back to a business as usual and I can kind of get some content built back up and get that wheel pack done and released. I feel like I've been talking about that thing like my entire life. just kind of rubberneck with you there. is a little bit heavy so he's not zipping through these little hills or anything so and uh, hopefully by the time this video goes live uh, the mod uh, spreadsheet will be updated uh, as well I know a couple of people are asking about that on stream and uh, it's not totally up to date but it shouldn't be not added really a whole lot of stuff uh, since I last updated it. Basically just added a couple updates of some mods here and there. Nothing really new. So not a whole lot of stuff going on in that regard. So as this car gets around us, put this guy in a rear view. Maybe. See, we're not exactly light ourselves, I don't think. Okay, we got 47.5 on the deck. There we go. Yeah, I want to get the wheel pack done and get that released. Eventually, I want to get the T680 done and released, and then we'll just kind of go from there on bump on uh, some other stuff. Trying to find. There we go. Looking for my uh, button that I got the cruise uh, resume uh, bound to. Didn't want to hit the ignition. good. No bueno indeed. I guess we'll go over here and whip around everyone. So I know I've been using the 389 quite a bit, but not having to uh, play the game for about a week or so. It's kind of good to get back in it and put some miles on it. Say Peter Belt's probably my uh, favorite truck manufacturer, in the like the 359, 379, 389 would probably be right, uh, probably be right there as far as my some of my favorite trucks of all time. So, that's why I like using this as much as I do with that, and uh, I've done some mods myself so that's that's probably the biggest reason you guys that do know that I like using uh, the SES truck so it's pretty much what I'll be using uh, that's pretty much what I have been using just the four four uh, SES trucks with uh, some modifications to them Be checking 
see. Yeah, we're not. We're just getting ready to roll through Wetamucca, so we should be able to get to Elko no problem today. No problem at all. But uh, with uh, the announcement of doubles, man, coming to ATS and uh, ETS too, I think we're going to see some pretty amazing mods released uh, in the coming months. For sure. It's always always kind of a goofy one because the speed limit slows down to 65, but it seems like everyone drops like five below that. Like I'm doing 60 right now, and I'm keeping up with that red car pretty well. Zoom now. It should be, yeah, it picks back up to 80 as soon as we get up past that uh, overpass, so. pretty heavy right now. I don't know what I was playing earlier. It's, uh, I actually seemed uh, pretty light. Seems like there's a decent amount of traffic out now, though. could run this uh, northern part of the map pretty much like northern california and northern nevada pretty much all the time i don't think i'd ever get tired of it that is for sure it's like the best scenery of the entire game so far Right about. 
right up here. That worked out pretty daggone well. updated the SEI wheels or if I'm just now noticing or if that's like a reflection off the ceiling it just looks different Find them, kids. Grind them till you find them. And leave your turn signal on for like three weeks. shouldn't be too bad at all. guys keep it up keep it up <laughs> you guys too good job good job everyone's doing good all right where do they want this crazy thing at? hopefully right in front of us because that's a lot of real estate Why would they want it back there? I just, that is such a pain to back that thing in over there. But, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. All right, I'm gonna see if I can't snake this thing around, get this thing back in.
got to be one of my least favorite spots to uh, try to park a trailer at. If anything's backing up a little bit. Gotta pull up them back it in. Might be about the best boat. out pretty good for us. Straight shot back. Ta-da! Well, it's not anywhere near where I want it to be uh, backing up has gotten better. I will say that. Bam! There you go. Well, guys, that is going to wrap it up for another episode of Stories in the Road. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, just give the video a like and a share. This helps me out a bunch. It helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please take a look around, watch a couple videos, and consider subscribing now. But guys, until the next time, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you. <laughs>